out there on internet, around the world, you're watching Women on the Move. Once again, I want to welcome you, having the, us, it is such a privilege for you tuning in to this program. And today we have a wonderful topic. Uh, my guest is Evangelist uh, Alan Rich, and all the way from France, he's coming to especially uh, here to be with us to talk about his background, his life. And today we're talking about how Alan has been delivered and set free and saved from the powers of Satan. God is a good God. So Alan, welcome again to this program. We're talking about actually the transition that you have been uh, involved in witchcraft, medium is, you know, uh, you know, evil spirits casting spells, mediums, etc. You know, we can call all these names. Yes. But uh, how were you delivered? When mm -hmm. did it come to the point after you realized you have so mm -hmm. much supernatural power from the enemy in the negative sense? How did you come to the point to realize, you know what, I need a savior, I need yes. to get out of here? Yes. What well, was the transition? Uh, as I said in the other show, that when uh, I came into a Christian meeting by accident, by accident, and, okay. Yes, <laughs> I wanted uh, to have more spiritual power, but it, the Spirit of God started to point me to Jesus Christ and ah. the cross. Ah. Because when the preacher was talking, I was not listening, but I was hearing only two words. It's Jesus and cross. The road. It was like blah, 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 Jesus, blah, 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 cross. Blah. And I started to get irritated with those two words. But it was the Holy Spirit. Why, yes. Why were you irritated? Because, yes. because I think the Holy Spirit is starting to you know, make his point. And when, after he said, whoever wants the power of God, come in front, I run in the front. Wow. And uh, uh, I say, yeah, I want the power. So I close my, he said, close your eyes and you will receive the power. I say, oh, it's easy, you know, because I was uh, used with the other spirit, you know, to get power, easy different ones. So yeah. I say, oh, it's just that. So, okay, I, if the price is to close my eye, I close my eye. But instead of what I thought would be getting the spiritual power, uh, I saw Jesus on the cross. Ah. So I said, no, not again, this Jesus and this cross, that the, the, the two words I just heard and I don't want to hear because I hate uh, you Christians. Saw it. You saw it. Like a vision. Huh? Okay. It's like an image. It was the Holy Spirit who showed me, you know, uh, Jesus on the cross, the thing I didn't want to know because this guy was always telling Jesus died on the cross, uh, the blood, blah, 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 and uh, the sin, Shit blah, blah, blah. blah. But sins. me, I was hearing Jesus, the cross. That was the two words that the Holy Spirit used. You know, I heard the story about a woman, she became Christian uh, by reading the Quran. She knew nothing about Jesus, about the Christian, but every time that she, wa she read the Quran and every time there was the word Jesus, the Holy Spirit, like, Jesus. move and say, there is oh, power in the name of God. Jesus. That's right. And That's right. through only that word, she became a Christian without knowing anything because, okay, I don't want to get into that. But so when I was, I closed my eyes, I saw Jesus and the Holy Spirit said, you must go through Jesus. He's the door, Wait, he's the, the way, the way the he's the truth, and yes. no one come to the Father except but through him. him. That's right. But me, I said, no, I was, feel, uh, I was full of evil spirit. I was possessed by spirits. Not yet delivered. So yeah, mm -hmm. the spirits that didn't want to get uh, to, that, to, that, to that, you know, when I get to that meeting, I had so much, uh, uh, um, I was I had so much turmoil to get there I had trials mm -hmm. you know I, I get there I was uh, I was uh, sweating My and God. I was trembling mm. you know because the spirit they were Knows fearing for the their time, life because the they knew that the they had to come. flee in the name yes, of Jesus Christ right. you know so when I saw Jesus like this I said to the Holy Spirit I didn't know yet it was the Holy Spirit for me it was another spirit you know and I say I don't want this Jesus, I don't want this cross, take this away from me, I'm not here for that, I'm not here to become a Christian, I hate Christian, I want the spiritual power. So God, the Holy Spirit, to get show that power, me, you need yeah, uh -huh. yeah, but the Holy Spirit <laughs> say, if you don't come through Jesus, there There's is no, no way. way. And uh, God did not just want me to get spiritual power, because something I didn't know, uh, that uh, he wanted to save my soul That's right. from That's right. uh, eternal hell uh, That's and right. torment. And so he showed me a vision. Uh, he said, um, if now you continue the life you are on and you are uh, refusing Jesus and the cross, this is the end of your life. He showed me six months later how, wow. where, and when I would in die. A vision, in a vision. So I'm not saying that to make blackmail 
I'm telling to the viewer, tell, come true. to Jesus or you, in six months you're dead because maybe it's not the case of everybody. Some people, they will die, they're watching us now, they will uh, die in 50 years, in 80 years, and, and maybe still is a God they, of second they, chance, they yes. will have yeah, uh, uh, a second chance, a third chance, 10, 20, 50, everybody's different. But in my case, answer the call. Jesus didn't, uh, God didn't tell me, you take Jesus or I kill you. It was not the case. But in my Adamic faith, it was written, it was the end six months later in March that 78. Time. That this was my time. Mm -hmm. And, and it g God gave me a chance now to save me because he didn't want to, uh, for me to spend time in, in eternity. eternity so he, give, he gave right. me the good reason. And because I had uh, this uh, near-death experience I explained in a previous That's right. show, That's right. I was afraid to die because I saw that I would go to hell. So out of fear and despite me, I said, okay, I accept Jesus and the cross, but it was like making a deal with uh, my enemy. I was just saving my neck. I heard, because at that time, there was some Christian telling me, oh, before I was sad, before I drink beer, and one day I accepted Jesus, Jesus in my Christ. life. Oh, I was so God. happy. But in my me, it was not to be happy, it was to save my neck. I didn't care about Jesus, you know, it was progressive for me because it was, uh, it was harsh for me because God didn't have much time. He, he, you know, he devises... Radical. Yeah, he had to find devices Radical. to save me. That's right. In spite of me. But you, you can't save I mean? yourself because you, can, can you need save. a savior. Yeah. You can't save yourself. So for me, that, because to answer your question, to me, this is when I was saved. Because the, 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 the word of God is clear. It is said, if you believe in Jesus Christ. That's right. Yes, as you save your, uh, your, your Lord, you confess him, you believe he died for you. Wow. That is uh, his right. reason and that you confess that he's your Lord, he's you will Lord. be saved. That if you call saved. on the name of the Lord, you are saved. saved. So to me, this was the turning point. It was enough for God. That's enough for God. And he's, you know, God is a God of mercy and he's yes. full of grace, you know, and he gives us second chance because he loves yes. us. Yes. Because the Bible said Jesus came, uh, you know, to, to set us free, he came to set the captives free, send his only begotten yes. son, yes. that whosoever will believe then he will have eternal life. Yes. What was powerful, what you just said, is that the cross and Jesus, you can't separate that. Yes. Jesus yes. died on the yes. cross. He yes. shed his blood yes. for the sins of you. Can't separate that. Mm -hmm. So only true. He's the, tr the way, the truth, mm -hmm. and the life. Mm -hmm. Only true. Mm -hmm. Jesus is the way to eternal yes. life. So I love what you said. Uh, you know, it's like the word of God said, "He who has the Son yes. has life." Yes. And he who does not have the Son yes. does not have life. So yes. the way to eternal life is through Jesus, the Son. Yes, yes. And that's what you saw in the vision. Yeah. This is so powerful. And we must not forget that Jesus did not stay on the cross. That's right. He went Come into on. a tomb, but he didn't stay on. on the tomb. He's risen, and now he's sitting at the right hand of God. When uh, two girls, after Jesus died, they came to the, to her, uh, to the tomb. Mary, that's and right. there was yes. an angel, and he said, what are you doing here? Why are you looking for somebody who is, is not dead anymore? You know, he's, he's risen. And Go so, and tell. Oh my God. Uh, the cross is important, but we must uh, not forget that he's not on the cross anymore. That's right. He's risen, and we have to go through the cross to be saved. This is the only way we have to accept and confess our sins and uh, accept that he was pure, he's the son of God and he died for our, for our sin. And then we accept him, but then we can have a personal relationship, relationship because yeah. he's alive and he's, he's uh, praying for us, interceding for us because the work of the devil is to, act, it is saying in the Bible, in the book of Revelation, to accuse us day and night, the accuser, nonstop. The and the of work the of, the, of Jesus is the, uh, our lawyer and, and, Judge, there, and oh, there for oh. night, he's uh, defending us. He said, no, yes. no God, don't believe this accuser. He's under the blood, uh, my blood. He oh, accepted me as, it, as my, as my uh, savior and uh, as his savior and uh, Lord and he's under my protection. So don't believe what the devil is saying. It's so powerful be having, uh, you mentioned your testimony in the past life that you were somebody so heavy. Yes. I'll call it heavy in witchcraft. That you sit and gives you the power to have the ability to kill people or kill yes. anybody who come against you or kill out all your enemies. That the Lord himself came down and said, I am the way to truth life. I'm going yes. to save you, Alan. I'm yes. going to take you out from the, the clutches and the claws yes. of the enemy. And I'm going to bring you into my kingdom that you can go back, come out of your Egypt, yes. that you can go back and save souls. Tell yes. us exactly what you do. What is your ministry? What are you doing? Yes. Because you're busy uh, using your testimony to bring yes. people to yes. the, in his kingdom. Yes. Tell us about that. 
Well, just to, to explain how I, I got there, first, just after when I accepted Jesus, I, I, was, I still had the demons in me. So the, 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 the man of God, he prayed for me and he cast out okay. the demons and the demons went away. And then he said, now I'm going to pray for you and you will receive a new spirit. You felt the difference when the demons comes up, came up? I feel the difference. I, feel, I, feel, I felt, I saw the people going out of myself, my one God. after my the God. other in, mm. in rank, you know, and unhappy to go away and uh, oh. going away they with it. To leave in Jesus they had to name. leave. They ah. cannot resist. If this man has the power of God, they must leave because we cannot use the name of Jesus Christ if we don't have his authority. That's right. You know? That's right. So he, uh, had a, he speak to the demons yeah, with authority. Yes, yes, yes. He speak and they must, uh, must obey. obey. So they went away. And then, uh, so part of my belief and of my uh, deception went away with those spirits, you know. So I was empty. I was free. So now they say we are going to receive a new spirit. Ah. I didn't know it was the spirit of God. I didn't Holy know that spirit. name. I said, yeah, spirit, whatever. I'm, I'm used to spirit. But I, so they pray this for me and I receive the Holy Spirit. And so from that moment on, this is the beginning of uh, the new, new life. life. But to me, in my case, I know some people, they say, uh, when I received Jesus, all my problems were over. Uh, for me, it was the beginning, if I may, of a new problem. Because you know, you know because you get saved. Yes. from witchcraft and you know satan had you so much hooked up yes yes and you know when you fill with so much demon you actually possess satan don't want to lose his territory yes, yes, or yes. lose his temper so yes. he will always try yes, to yes. get back into his body and yes. even worse yes or heavy demons yes. so it had to be a process for you of yeah. you know the enemy uh you, and you've experienced that the well, enemy tried to come yeah back. he had a new mission because on uh before that time his mission was to kill me to prevent me to, to hear about Jesus and to be saved. But once it was too late and uh, I was saved, his mission was to stop me from uh, getting into my inheritance and being uh, oh, yes. uh, you know, fruitful and to oh, yes. uh, be victorious. So for years I had problem because I started to have, he attacked me from another way. Before oh. he was inside me, uh, so he was, uh, you know, I, I was his. But then now I was from his enemy outside. and from outside he That's started. Right. So it was a new fight that I didn't know. And at that time, no Christian or the pastor did, did, uh, were talking about that because they, they say it's, it's bad to speak about the devil or about evil spirit. <laughs> you save now, you're happy, forget it, everything is over. So for years I had those attacks and he accuses me. He say, you are not worthy to be saved. Yeah, those Christians look at them. They just dr dr uh, drink some beer before and now uh -huh. they can be saved. They're worthy to be saved. But do you think that God forgave you? You kill people. You cannot be the forgiven. Accuser. Yeah, the accuser. accuser. And for two years I thought I was not saved. You know, uh, it was really terrible. And uh, so I had many turmoil, but little by little, God. You understand that God forgive your sins yeah, and blot yeah, out the past yeah, and He hold yeah, it not against you, yeah. my God. So He transformed God. me physically in my spirit, in my soul. He gave me new capacity. Ah. Anything about uh, before I was unable to do anything, you know, right? Everything I did was uh, uh, was a failure. And then he, he gave me a more intelligence to understand, a to read, life. to play music, to My anything, uh, to express myself. I was not talking before, you know, now you see, you cannot <laughs> stop me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so little by little, of course, it is not, uh, you know, a, a way uh, full of roses, you know. I had problem and uh, I, I disobeyed God also for a few years. I, I, I backslided and then I come back. It's not a question. Uh, a perfect, perfect. Yeah, nobody, nobody is perfect, nobody's perfect uh -huh. you know. Uh, but Jesus is faithful. But you found him and he Je found yeah, you. Yeah, and, and he, he never disappointed me. Me, I disappointed the Lord, you that's know. That's right. It's like a prodigal but son, you know, just get yes, away. Yes, but that's yes, time for you to come yes, home. Yes. And now you've home, you know, you're sitting here and we're talking to so many people that is astray, that's out there looking, you know, for more power, more source to, with witchcraft. We're calling them home. It's time to come home. Yes. We're telling our viewers, it's time to come home to just, you know, just forget you know, the, 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 the Bible said, do not touch evil. Yes. You know, it said, you know, the, the, the men were created to serve God. You know, we asked you, we want to ask you, you're sitting there, you're not a Christian, you're not born again. We want to ask you to come and to receive Jesus Christ, to call upon the name of the Lord and you shall be saved. So, so tell us, Alan, uh, even though uh, you were saved, you were set free, God gives you a new, a new life. He yes. gives you quality and potential and talents. Yes. The things that you could not, yes. you know, have done, you, you're doing now, mm -hmm. as you said, because you just renew yes. your whole life. Yes. So what is the ministry? 
so, that you have? What is yeah. the ministry because that fact, he has given we, to you? Yeah, we must not forget that uh, God does not save us just to be happy and go to church and say hallelujah. He has a purpose Come on. because Jesus Christ died for everybody. And uh, there are so many people unsaved and he gave us a commandment to go and make disciples of all nations. That's right. Uh, and he didn't say that uh, this mission is not for pastors, it's for every disciple. So uh, we must become a disciple and not That's just right. a, a Sunday Christian, you know. So he, he and he uh, gave us all this so that we can bear fruits for him, for his kingdom. So in my case, he gave me, like everybody, he gave a special ability, That's right. special I gift to do what he called us to do. The talents. Yeah, the yes. talents to do it. And so me, in my case, he gave me the ministry of uh, evangelist okay. and different uh, spiritual gift and um, uh, he, I, I use my testimony you know okay, that's powerful. Uh, yeah uh, to help the people who are still uh, in in those kind of problems i have a site where i give my testimony i, I put on video on site i go in the street okay. i go all over the world give my testimony uh, to, um, to for edification people. for Christian or for uh, com evangelization uh, campaign to w warn people and people are, are, are listening and they want to listen because I say uh, I'm going to tell my personal experiences. Right. I'm not talking about theory, a thing I learned in the book, in books, but what I just, live. Just, just what and you live through. We must not yes. forget that Jesus came uh, to uh, destruct the works of the yeah, enemy. No, that's right. So we must expand the kingdom of God by um, uh, preaching the gospel and giving our testimony. This is our responsibility. We must That's not right. say, if maybe you say, yeah, but me, I, my testimony is not great. It's not about you. It's, you. About, it's about what Jesus did because right. um, uh, Jesus died for you as well as for me. And he didn't pay a small price for you and a big price for me because we were all That's under right. the same curse. That's right. We're same under the bondage of Satan, but he set us free and yes. he gave us gifts and talents and quality. To go on to preach his word and so and i believe very strongly that you know the, the background that you came out of you know and you know you've been involved in this witchcraft and all that stuff god will use it because you've mm -hmm. been through that but he used it for the not a purpose to turn it around to yes. save people yes. because you will know what you're talking about if yes. you meet somebody who's involved in witchcraft yes. right now yes. and they're searching for god yes. you would be you know very capable of telling that person because you've been in that yes. world of darkness yes. And I think that this is what you're doing with your testimony. Yes. I just want to bless you. This is yes. this is Thank so you. powerful. This is so good. And uh, you know, I really want to you know tell the viewers out there. If you have questions for Alan and, and questions pertaining to what we're talking about, feel free to send your comment on to write. You know, just just just, just don't let you know. You, you might be thinking, you know, I don't need to. You know, if you're involved and you have Alan's background, we want you to just email us and uh, that you can get help. What would you say to people who are watching? right now they're watching us and they're saying well you know this is just your story but yes. you know uh well to me you know if you are not a christian and uh, i'm telling you uh, i believe jesus is the only way to god and is the the only one who can save you if you are practicing white magic or black magic or whatever you are under influence of evil spirit and those evil spirits in you or around you want to prevent you to come to the truth and are deceiving you uh, to not to come to Jesus Christ and you must accept Jesus Christ as your savior to be saved if you are Christian but you have problem with your past life because you were involved in uh, witchcraft but uh, now you were stopped but you still think uh, feel that there are links you need to be delivered and ask a Cut man of God to pray for Cut you it off. Mm to pray for you and to cast out those demons and those link, whatever they are, because uh, Jesus came for us to be free completely, to destroy the works of the enemy. He don't want us to not to be victorious. We must live a victorious life. And if you are Christian and you are uh, uh, practicing uh, uh, witchcraft, and also praying God, you must stop and confess your sin and ask forgiveness and stop those practices Jesus. because it hinder your spiritual That's right. That's progression. Right. That's right. That's so powerful. That's so true what you said. You know, the Bible said in John 10, 10, it said the, the, the thief, mm -hmm. we all know the thief yes. comes to kill, steal and destroy. But yes. then Jesus said, I came yes. that they might have a life and have it yes. in abundance. So he wants us 
to have life in abundance. Yes. He wants us to have peace. He wants us to be blessed. Yes. He wants us to be happy. He wants us right now on planet Earth to enjoy our lives. Yes, yes, yes. So tell us about, you know, your 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 for other forms of ministry. You're just uh, preaching on the internet. There are other things yes. that you're doing that people might be interesting to know. Well, uh, as I say, it's more or less uh, where well, I'm working also in my local church uh, in the evangelization program. Wow. We're making concerts. Okay. And we have stand in the street to give Bible. Uh, I preach in the street. Uh, I go and have personal contact in the street uh, many times and I go around the world uh, to give my testimony. Uh, you know, every time, as the Bible say, you know, in Timothy, he said, uh, every occasion you have, have. preach okay, the gospel. Because in so season. Many, yes, oh, uh, so many people say, oh, but uh, now it's winter, I will go in summer, and after no, no, in night, I will go in daytime, and, and then excuse after excuse, they're doing nothing, but God gave us a talent and a responsibility, and one day, right. whether you like it or not, he will say, what did you do with, with what I talent. gave to you? That's right. And if you say, I cannot do nothing, can you speak, can you breathe? Do you have two arms? You can give tracks. You can do. Are you productive for the uh, kingdom of God, or are you just a sleeping uh, Christian? My God. My God. So you have a responsibility. Maybe it's not the reason why you came to Jesus. You just came to be saved. You just came to get a promotion. But now you must have knowledge, understand uh, in, right. what, in which situation you uh, you are, and we are. Uh, we are at war and there is a warfare and uh, there is only two sides and you must That's know right. for who you are fighting for. Light and darkness, good and bad, Yes. God and the devil, you know, yes. the Bible said be wrestling not against flesh and blood, yes. but against principalities and powers, yes. against spiritual weakness in high places. Yes. For you who are watching, the Bible said the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God yes. to Amen. the pulling down of strongholds. Amen. And those of you watching, you don't know Christ and you're watching our program right now, we just want you to, to repeat after me. Just say, Lord Jesus, I've heard uh, the testimony of Evangelist Allen. And I don't know you, Lord, but I want to know you. Just open your heart right now and say, Lord Jesus, come into my life and set me free from the powers of darkness. You know, I have no peace. I have no rest. I'm in a constant turmoil. I'm t uh, tormented by evil powers. Uh, you know, my love's my job, you know, marriage, the circumstance in your life. Just just open your heart and say, I need Jesus. It's, it's time that I should come home. It's time that I should meet my Savior. Just open your heart, a simple prayer. Lord Jesus, come into my life and set me free. And if you have said it in your heart, in the deep of your heart, in your soul, the Bible said that you will be saved. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, thank you again for tuning in. And I hope you've been blessed by our program. And uh, I just want to say welcome. Send your comments and write to us. Feel free. In Jesus' name.